What's up, string lovers? David Pichet here, and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the Stad V transducer pickup by Schertler. This Swiss company started their operation in the early 80s. Do you think that the Stad V is the Swiss army knife of all violin and viola pickup? Let's find out together, shall we? Let's go! Okay, so now you've seen what's in the box, let's talk about the build quality of everything included in the set. First of all, we have the pickup. There you go. At one end, you could connect the cable, and then you have a little hook in metal that will go to your tailpiece to secure the pickup to your instrument. A nice cable, and then the pickup is right there. It's a capsule, basically, made in cork. The cork is changeable. You can buy a Schertler replaceable cork for this pickup. Second of all, we have the cable. It's braided. I love braided cable. At one end, you have a nice 90 degree quarter inch cable that will connect to the preamp. And at the other end, we have the DIN that will go to the, the pickup itself. So now let's talk about the preamp. This is it. It's built like a tank. It's in metal. I dropped it several times and it still rocks. The knob feels nice. It's in metal as well. It's very nice. It doesn't feel cheap. So you pay for quality with that. I really feel that this old pack is very Swiss quality like. It's very nice and well built. So kudos to the artistry of the people that worked on the design of that. Very well done guys. Ergonomically speaking, the Stad V pickup is very intrusive to instrument. You can't even try this pickup in the store if you'd like to hear how it sounds or how it feels. You know why? You need to modify your bridge to install this pickup to your instrument. You can do it yourself, but I really recommend the luthier to do it. Under the high string of your violin, the luthier will have to cut the feet of that side. Because the capsule is too big to fit in it, also, the cork will have to be squeezed and shaved to fit inside of your instrument. So all of these will actually take some of the people from the classical world out of this. I'm classically trained and one of the reasons why I did install that is the fact that I was changing sometimes from pickup to a microphone. But I totally understand that some of you guys, and I do, love my bridge and sometimes it feels like a, you know, it's a package, you know, your violin, the bridge is a team and you don't want to break that team if you feel that you can't do that think of another option i have other videos talking about microphone maybe microphones are better for you if that's the case but if you think of pickups this pickup one of the big reasons why people choose this pickup is because the gain is freaking hot you could really have a high gain sound with this pickup and it receive effects really nicely if you play in a band and you want to have a high gain violin paired with effects and a no feedback or noise rejection to the ceiling this is your weapon you know so that's why you really need to fit your needs but if you see this is the pickup <clears throat> it's inside right now and then the cable goes there it's pretty neat the way it does it then here's the cable i'll connect the cable to it the little din there you go, it's inside. Put it under my chin rest after, like this. And then you connect that cable to the preamp. Have in mind that the, the preamp is part of the package and you absolutely need it. It serves a nine to 10 volt to power this. If you don't have this, your pickup is not gonna work. So if you forget one of those pieces, boom. It's done. It's over. Game over. You won't be able to use it. It's not like Phantom Power for preamp will be able to do it. You can use that little box, the preamp from Schertler, the Yellow Blender Single or the Yellow Blender uh, Dual. If you want to play wirelessly, that's going to be a little bit uh, tougher. But uh, ergonomically speaking, 
it doesn't take too much room. It's just you need to commit to this. And a lot of people will be, no, 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 I'm not touching my bridge. Okay, so I know a lot of people have been waiting for the sound quality test of this review, and it's now time. Violin, pick up the little preamp from Schertler through my Apollo Twin U80 sound card and straight to my computer. First, I'm gonna do it no EQ, no reverb, with only the violin. Then I'm gonna do it with a track so you can hear how it sounds in a band situation. And I'm gonna put maybe a little bit reverb of reverb, but no EQ. And then I'm gonna put it into a sound effect pedal. So my signal change at that point will change. It's gonna be violin, pick up, pick up to the shirt little box. That little box to my Axe 8 from Fractal Audio. That Fractal 8 to my Apollo Twin and then Apollo Twin my computer. So you will hear how it sounds with effects. Talk to you right after.
price wise you can buy a shirtler stat v set for about 650 on their website but you could actually find this to the evs website for i think 600 there's amazon that sells at sweetwater there's other website that sells it for cheaper 458 to 656 so there's a very big difference and i don't know why but just um, try to find the best bargain the pickup itself for replacement for 250 dollars and then the cork is about eight dollars five to eight dollars depending on where you buy it there's two yellow blender there's single uh, channel and there's a dual channel as well if you want to do a blend with a microphone and a pickup again if you haven't seen some of my video about microphones just go back on my channel and look at them maybe that's going to help you maybe a blend is exactly what you need something that would go straight to the effect with a pickup and then the microphone for the more um through tone to your instrument so look at this i'm gonna link right now some other video my customer service experience throughout the years with shirtler has been perfect every time i had a question to ask them they answer my emails super quickly to me that's why i put in my reviews customer service when i buy any product i really like an after service that is provided to me and when we talk about instrument and gear sometimes we need help and sometimes we have questions and I think it's very important in the purchase to know that the service will be good even after you purchase the product. So I think Schertler really nailed that bullseye for that. And they also have a very nice ambassador program that you could look at. So my verdict on the Stad V set by Schertler, I actually really like it. It's well built, uh, the sound is nice. It doesn't sound like a piezo like most pickup. You know that nasal sound that we hate? It sounds pretty full. And I have to say that when I was playing, the knob was at 12 o'clock. So 50%, I still have like a lot of juice to give you. When I go higher in the gain with this box, you can hear a little bit too much of the ticket 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 tick. That's something I don't really like. So that's why I go lower on the gain. Other than that, look at the chart that we'll put right now, boom. These are all the scores I put for build quality, uh, ergonomy, price, customer service, and sound. You know, I deduct a lot of points for ergonomy because of the fact you have to commit and install it to your bridge. But there's a lot of pickup out there that still have like a bridge and a cheap bridge to put on your instrument. Something that like people even consider. A lot of you should consider this pickup. When you think of pickup, it will never replicate the natural sound of an instrument. It's still a pickup. If you want to replicate a natural sound of an instrument, buy a microphone and then blend it to a pickup. But if you want something that will sound like a violin, it does. This sounds pretty warm and you want to use some weird and cool effects on your violin. This is a super great option. Before you go to the electric violin world, if that's something you consider, a pickup is the first step. And I think this pickup is a really high quality pickup. It sounds great. The feedback rejection is pretty perfect. Very awesome. Then in effect, it does, it does sound good. I have multiple electric violin. I, I can tell that like this sounds really nice. I hope you like my review. If you do so, please subscribe to my channel. And all these videos takes a lot of time. I will do more of those. I will also start doing some pedals effects uh, reviews and comparison on my channels. If you haven't heard my, uh, my latest composition, uh, Free Fall, No Resistance, go on my channel right now, it's up. So thanks a lot guys. In these hard times, take care of each other, stay creative and think outside the box. That's the key. Peace guys.